Students from uh, Poland, Italy, Spain, and Croatia. Introduce yourselves. Okay, so I'm Hubert. I'm from Poland. Um, I am uh, uh, 15 years old. Uh. We have also practiced how to act in front of the camera in Poland. <laughs> in Croatia, we had animated film workshop, and we made a film, Big Step for Mr. Nobody. In Spain, we had a stop motion workshop with Coque Riobo. He won Goye, the most important Spanish film award. If you touch here, you make focus. If you touch here, the red part, you take the picture, okay? And also... In Italy, we had our own film festival. On the festival in Bari, we have showed all eight films that we have made during this project. Uh, you have uh, eight uh, categories. The best film, the award for the best film, according to our children who voted uh, uh, yesterday, two years ago at school, goes to Sexy Party. All of our films alongside with 40 films made by students on topics of civic education from Italy, Poland, Spain and Croatia can be found on the repository of our project. There are also workshops for civic education classes prepared by our teachers. During this project, each participant of the exchange made a short film about him or herself. We have watched uh, student films in our schools and wrote comments about them in 20 different web tools. We have dedicated time to learning about media and active citizenship on all of our exchanges. Civic activism was the main topic of the students' exchange in Croatia. In Croatia, we had workshops about sensationalism and ethics in media, and also a workshop about racism and xenophobia. Did you understood, understand the, the film, the content of the film? Yes? We have presented our festivals and we have video streaming workshop. Uh, School of Media Culture is in top five programs of media literacy in Croatia. It is also among the 150 programs in uh, EU. And um, it is a combination of workshops and seminars in which we uh, provide uh, knowledge, experience, and as well as uh, media literacy. In Poland, we have learned about safety on the internet. Besides, don't send personal photos, don't tell your password. To... We have also learned about discrimination and tolerance on the workshop, but also in Auschwitz concentration camp. Guys, during three years, the Nazis built it one, two, three, four, five, six, actually seven gas chambers. Six were placed 
somewhere else, not here. One was in Auschwitz, six were in the forest. In Spain, we have learned about gender equality. In this part. Uh, any objective um, reason to know if this is a boy, a baby boy, or a baby girl? In Italy, we have learned about immigration problems. Members of Children's City Council of Capurso have also talked about migrations. Good evening, everybody. Welcome in Capurso. I'm Antonio Volpe. We believe that it is interesting to integrate immigrants into association to take of them road and give them better life. We have also learned about our partner countries. We had quizzes to see how much have we learned, and we had a lot of cultural activities. What did you learn during this project? And would you recommend participating in the Erasmus Plus project to other students? It is a great opportunity to um, to relation with other people of nationalities that you don't know, but you understand that we are all equal. Um, there's not really a best experience because I've enjoyed all of what we've done during this, this week. I think it was uh, nights when we are done after uh, workshops and we are like free. We have free time and uh, we can uh, talk with each other, get to know better and, uh, you know, make friends. <laughs> traveling, go out of your country, meet new people, is very important in nowadays education to have more views point. But also I would like to say that all these people here uh, we become more just more than friends, we become one family. <laughs> 